This is the second video when I'm trying to solve advent of code event. Uh, so let's I have the same setup as in the first one. And um, basically there's some stops, right? So let's start timer again and let's go read the, the second task. Uh, blah 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 and so you can scan the like clear box again account kind of number that have an ID contact containing exactly two of any letter and then separately counting those who exactly three of any letter. You can multiply those two counts together to get rid of the checksum and compare it to what your device predicts. For example, if you see the following box IDs A B C D E F contains no letters that predicted two or three times. B A B A B C contains two A and three B so it counts for both. Contains 2b, but no letter appears exactly three times. That's 3c. Of this box, yes, four of them contain a letter which appears exactly twice, and three of them contain a letter which appears exactly three times. Multiplying those together produces a checksum of 4 by 3. Um, what is checksum for your list of box IDs? Okay, so basically we have a list of strings. All right, let's paste it here. And um, let's read it. So basically, we have a list of strings, and we need to count the, how many appearances in strings. So basically, it's huh. I guess there is frequencies. Basically, let's let's see. If we have, if we pass it this, so A is one, B is one, C is three, D is one. Okay. Um, well, well, so yeah, I guess we need not that, not exactly that, but something like that and that. Right, so so there are letters that appear four times. It's a C and B. The letters that appear six times is A. So okay, so this uh, this function would ca count how many uh, times uh, letters appear. So now we need to basically. Mm, okay, a def. So basically, <laughs> uh, let's split our input again, right, by uh, backslash n. So this is a sequence of strings. And uh, let's uh, map appearances over it. Okay, so we have that. So we have that. Okay, so now we what we need to do is basically filter contains number two, right? And basically count that and multiply that. By a night okay. This is the right answer. Cool. Uh, let's mark our time. Almost four minutes. Continue to part two. Okay. Now, confirm that your list of box IDs is complete. You're ready to find the boxes for portal fabric. The boxes will have IDs which differ at exactly one by exactly one characters at the same position in the box string. So, for example, given the following box IDs. Everything is blah blah blah. Different by exactly one character. The third, this must be the correct boxes. What letters are common between the two correct box IDs? In the example above, this is found by removing the different characters from either ID, producing F J I E J. 
Okay, so let's try, so this is like very really different task, so it, it took me one minute just to understand the tag, but this task is very really different, right, so it has nothing in common. What we can do though is we can uh, count variants, uh, like, so we take a string, for example, and return set of all of the substring without one, without one letter, right? So basically, um, how do we do that? So we, we take Z, we take range and the function that we would apply is is take okay I, I, I need just uh, so basically ABCD huh. so Okay, return subsume beginning at start, inclusive ending, exclusive. So basically, uh, it would be concatenation of substring from zero to percent and substring from percent to the end, right? Um, let's see. Okay, subs long cannot be cast to drawing string. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the string. Okay, so this is basically what we expect, but it should be something like that, I guess. So, oops. BCD, ACD, ABD, ABC. Okay, cool. So these are all variants. So, but we need them in, in a set, I guess, right? Or no, we don't need them in a set. Basically, uh, if we take this variants, right? So we, we basically take the input. Then we map cat uh, variants to it. We will have like long, long sequence. Then we count frequencies, call frequencies on it. So we know which sequences appear, appear how often. And then we run filter which will remove everything that appears exactly once, right? So basically uh, it will be pairs, so like that. I'll basically remove, oh, filter if, if value is bigger than one. Okay, so we have those substrings. Okay, this is, this is interesting. So I have more. I have more. How many? How many more? Sixty-one. And if I, huh. so something is not right. Either I didn't understand something. Oh. No, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I, uh, in this solution, if I remove a first letter and huh. I 
should replace it with something like that. <laughs> so this is the answer. Okay, um, how do I copy that? How do I copy that? Of course, we don't need that. Yeah, that's the right answer. Okay, uh, let's stop. So it took me uh, four minutes for the first task and basically one minute to understand this, and 10 minutes to the second task. Uh, let's uh, clean this up a little bit. So basically appearances, yes, it's it's fine. This is the answer to... Okay, so let's uh, define the functions, which will be part one again, right? And basically we will move this into let that so this is uh, part one uh, the variance and this is basically part two it doesn't exactly gives you the solution so let's uh, for example <laughs> um, so it gives you one pair and we will call a first on it. Um, yeah, and we also will need to replace that with, um, but okay, so I will need to do something like that, unfortunately, which is not very pretty, but but why not? Replace, string replace, so we are basically replacing the underscore with empty string, right? Yeah. So uh, if in, in case you, for some reason, didn't understand what I did, basically we are enumerating every possible variant of the substring where basically um, each letter we try to replace each other letter with some symbol that we know in advance does occur in in the string so for example if we call it on abcd it will be these four strings and after that after we have this variance for each string uh, in the sequence we basically try to find two, two similar ones, right? Two similar ones in the sequence. Basically, yeah, we, we, we convert them. Basically, yeah, the map cut will call variance on everything. Then we call frequencies, which will produce us a map of like, like this. Basically like this, right? Like uh, this uh, uh, occurs once and everything else, probably also once, except we know that there is just one string that appears twice. But uh, for we, we just filter that for strings that appears more than once to make sure there's only one. So this returns us just a single sequence like that. Uh, we know the number here would be two, which it is. Then we call phi first, which will get us the string itself. And we know that we must only return the symbols that are in common. So we don't need to return that. So we do string replace. And, uh, this, is, this is what we um, This is part one. And this is part two. Okay, so basically, let me just add short doc string here. Basically, what I want to say is that it converts ABC into okay. Let me let me use single quotes for readability here into something like BC then a c and finally a b underscore so 
something like that, right? And appearances basically uh, what you do, it converts string like a b c a a a a b b c into map of uh, sorry into set of huh oh it basically three to one yeah uh, but three is the amount of how many times total a appears b yeah it's like that okay super um i guess that's it that's it code compiles let's commit it to the github and updated stuff as well. We do. Let's publish. So that's it. Thank you for watching.